when I start. <laughs> so we are here. Uh, from now, uh, I'd like to introduce MSC program uh, in, in this way. So first, characteristics. So we started this program uh, from uh, 2004. So now you are uh, the 15th cohort. So we go by cohort. So you go all together uh, until the end. So as, as uh, the computer science chair talked to us, um, we have a good retention rate. So many students are graduating together well. Good. And uh, we have a requirements, uh, bachelor degree in computer science or uh, some other majors we also welcome. But uh, in that case, they should have uh, some kind of equivalent uh, work experience. Uh, so that's why you're already admitted and you're here now. And we, usually we go with uh, around uh, 60 students, 60 students. So now, uh, yesterday I checked the 63 students registered formally so far. So we will go by uh, that number. And we will have uh, 13 units to complete and 10 courses. Uh, these are two courses per semester. And we will spend 22 uh, months, uh, which is uh, four semesters plus one summer semester. OK? Uh, we already talked about this kind of recognition. So we have a very high rank in, in, the, in many surveys like this. So since we already talk, uh, the dean and the department chair already talk about this, and uh, we may skip. And you can be proud of uh, this uh, since you joined this program. Okay, and also uh, you should work hard to maintain this rank. Right? <laughs> okay. okay. So our curriculum uh, consists of uh, these areas: engineering areas and the management and support areas and the graded project. Actually, uh, we organize this program to emphasize on uh, four P's. Uh, four P's are the uh, constituents uh, we emphasize on in our software engineering, uh, which are the product. The product we need to build, the software product we need to build, and the uh, uh, process. Uh, through this process, it talks about the set of steps to go through to build uh, this product. And uh, we have a project okay, to uh, succeed our uh, goal okay, to build a product through this process. And uh, lastly, but very importantly, people. We emphasize on people. So we should work collaboratively uh, together to build uh, the goal product successfully. Okay? So uh, these are the courses uh, you will go through uh, based on this categories of uh, curriculum. So in the engineering area, to build a product, you will learn software standards and requirements, and uh, software verification and validation, and the software maintenance, and the software architecture. And in the area of the process and the project management, uh, you will learn about this, advanced software process, and the software project management, and the software measurement. And uh, uh, in addition, we have uh, courses related to the project and people. So uh, we should become a good uh, ethical uh, engineers, software engineers. So that's why we have uh, uh, this course included in our curriculum. And uh, uh, we have uh, two uh, project courses. So in the first project course, you will study and uh, you will develop plan for the project. So what kind of thing you like to do? for your project. And by yourself, you, you, you study and you develop this plan. And then in the next project course, uh, you will really implement your idea, you planned, okay, as you promised. So in this way, you will go through in this program. So you will spend 22 uh, months, two courses per semester, it takes four semesters plus one summer semester. So now you start from fall 2018. So you will have uh, two courses in this semester like this. And then you will have uh, next 
semester, spring 2019, and the summer semester, and you will have a fall, and you have another spring, and then you will finish this. So all of you will meet uh, three times in this program. Today is the first time. And the second time will be the midterm workshop. So exactly one year after of this, you will meet again in the workshop, midterm or uh, midpoint workshop. So in, in this uh, afternoon, we will meet the previous code, okay? Just like you here, okay? So you all of you will meet uh, after, exactly after one year, like this, in the afternoon. And then you will meet, uh, third time, we will meet on the graduation. <laughs> so uh, it is very, very, very important and very good to uh, meet each other today, so familiar with your classmates like this. Otherwise, you don't know who are your classmates. So sometimes you can meet uh, certain uh, people in the, in the work, and he says, oh, I have a degree, a MSc degree from Cal State Fulton. Oh, I have it too, <laughs> but you never met, right? So it may happen, okay? Uh, so it is natural in the online program, but uh, we, we recommend you uh, talk uh, as many as uh, uh, times you can. Okay, through the like uh, many online tools, so you can familiarize. Okay, uh, well, and also you will perform many group projects throughout uh, the, these courses. Uh, at that time, uh, probably you need to have uh, many online meetings. Okay, uh, then the offline meeting is not required here at all. But uh, I found in, in the past classes, I found many students. Uh, if they live uh, uh, the nearby, they, they have uh, some kind of meetings, offline meetings as well, okay? So that, that's good too, right? Okay, so uh, these are tools you must uh, use in this program. Uh, first tool is a uh, uh, portal, and the second tool is uh, titanium. So portal is uh, for general information for the uh, case they written. And the titanium is uh, more important to access your course materials. Of course, titanium can be accessible through port the portal as well. Okay? So if you go to this portal, and then uh, you can see like this. Okay? And then you can get all the information uh, for this case they Fluton. And then uh, if you go through the, this website, my.fluton.edu, it is more uh, simplified version for this. And then you may uh, access this titanium uh, in this way. So for example, Okay, so you can see uh, this way. This is a, a faculty interface. So students' interface may be a little bit different, but uh, you will have a very similar contents like this. And then uh, you can see here the menu for the titanium. Okay, and then you can access like this. And also you can access through this, your courses you registered. Okay, again, uh, this is faculty's interface, uh, but your, yours will be very similar to this. Okay? And then, uh, when you uh, ask, try to access uh, course materials, uh, probably you may have, sometimes you may have a trouble, right? It's very natural, okay? And you are all working in the computer uh, industries, so you know how to fix the most of problems by yourself if that is your problem. If it is your computer problem, it is uh, your network problem, you know how to fix it. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work still, right? So because it is uh, uh, due to the system's problem. In that case, you need to ask help to the help desk. So we have a uh, faculty staff's help desk and the student help desk. This is uh, address of a uh, student help desk, okay? So remember this and call them, and then uh, they may not immediately fix the problem, 
okay? Uh, they may uh, call you back. And then they will resolve all the issues. Their service is very good. Uh, it takes a little bit time sometimes, uh, but still it is very good. Uh, they provide a good service. So don't worry and uh, call them or email them and get the help. And also they provide many other uh, the ways to communicate. Okay. And then uh, whenever you have a problem with the, uh, to access Hotel or Titanium, uh, you need to contact the help desk like this. But uh, whenever you have a problem to access course material, once you get into the uh, Titanium of this class, but uh, you have a trouble with the course material, course material, or uh, you have a questions, okay, when you read it, or uh, I cannot understand this paragraph. Uh, in that case, definitely you have to contact to the uh, instructor. Okay, so think of this. Uh, faculties are also users of this titanium system. So we cannot fix the problem of the system, system level. But we, we know everything, the course materials we, we posted. So uh, depending on the problem, the issues we need, uh, call the proper prices so that you can get the better or uh, quick help. Okay? Okay, uh, very important thing in this uh, online class is we read, read, read all materials, okay? So the, in the online program, reading and writing is uh, one of the most uh, uh, frequent way to communicate, okay? Still, you can uh, make a phone call to us through the, our uh, office hours post that will be posted in the syllabus. Uh, but usually we communicate asynchronously. So you should read all emails whenever a faculty sends you, whenever a staff member sends you. Okay, so don't miss this regard. And read every lines, every lines. So we have uh, many experiences. So we, whenever we have uh, questions, we answer based on your questions with our experience. So usually we give all the information we need. But uh, sometimes some students don't read all and then ask again and ask again. It happens to me too. I, 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 when I, whenever I get the email, I don't read everything. I just guess what it is and then I ask them again. Uh, it happened last week too for, for my job. So uh, it is very natural, uh, it's understandable, uh, but uh, if you read carefully, it will reduce time to solve the problems, okay? So reading all materials are very important. Again, uh, if this is on up or on campus like this, we, we, can, we can communicate, you can ask questions in the classroom, but if it's online class, it's hard to read where the instructor is, where the other team members are, right? So reading all materials are very important to get all information on time, okay? And ask help if you run into problems. Do not stay, do not wait for a long time. When we have uh, any problem, ask, ask it to the instructor or staff members, the, depending on the problems you have, so that uh, you have a, uh, uh, the, you can save your time to resolve the issues, okay? And also, sometimes, uh, if, you, if you ask too late, it's too late to solve the problem, right? So the whenever you feel oh, something goes wrong here, and then the same email immediately, and the most of faculties reply to your email within 24 hours, sometimes within a minute. It's, uh, it's probably you will be surprised. So the, uh, send us email, okay? Uh, immediately, whenever you need help. And uh, uh, one thing you need to uh, concern is uh, GPA, maintaining GPA. If your uh, GPA is uh, uh, going to lower than uh, this uh, 3.0, uh, which is B average, uh, then uh, if you make uh, another uh, this lower GPA in the, the immediate uh, semester, next semester, and then you will be on probation, and uh, you, can, you, you can be uh, disqualified from the program. Okay, and then you have to do everything again. So be careful with this, and the maintain, try to maintain your GPA. So communicate, don't, don't, don't lose communication with the instructor. 
Okay, so keep communication always. And uh, reply to the instructor's email immediately. Okay, so I recommend you or require you to check university email every day during the uh, semester. Okay, so during the semester, uh, you have to check this university email. We will not send you email using your personal uh, email address. You provide the summary. We, we don't know. We only know university email given to each student. And we send all the announcement to that email address. So you have to check university email. Okay? And uh, uh, again, uh, whenever you need help, uh, immediately contact coordinator or faculty members. Okay? You can study anywhere, anytime. So whenever you have time, you can study. Whenever you have to work for your company, you don't, you don't need to study at that time, right? So you, you can save your time flexibly. Okay? You can use your time flexibly. It's good. And also, we use uh, the mostly asynchronous communication, not synchronous. Synchronous means whenever I call you, you have to get the phone call, and we have to talk. Like this classroom meeting, it's a synchronous meeting. A synchronous meeting is like a voicemail. You, you leave a voicemail, and then they will reply to you later. Whenever they have a time, they have a chance. And the email, you just send the email whenever you have a time, and they will reply to you whenever they have a time. Okay? So we go through this uh, mostly uh, asynchronous communication. Okay? So remember this, uh, and utilize this well. And it does not require a committee. Actually, this is a Saturday, and the, the, today is actually the on-campus, uh, the first day of on-campus class meeting. So there are some uh, campus meetings uh, here. Uh, weekend is good to park. But if you go, if you come this campus, if you have a chance to come this campus on uh, weekdays, it's hard to park sometimes. Sometimes you have to spend one hour to find out the, uh, the parking spot. So this is good for us, right? So we can, we can work at home, isn't it? It's good. So and the, you can work at, after, after hour at, at the work, and you can work at home during the weekend. That's great. You don't need to come in here for a long time, and you don't need to uh, find out the parking spot, OK? And uh, self-paced uh, learning, okay? This is uh, sometimes advantage and sometimes disadvantage, okay? If you do this well, uh, it's good. So you, you can control your study, okay? So for certain part, you spend more time. For certain part, you can go very quickly because it is uh, already known to you. And also, whenever you have time to study, whenever you are busy with other business, you, you, you don't need to study at that time. So you have to control your pace of uh, studying. That's good. But uh, in other words, if you look at this in reverse, what happened? Nobody, nobody asks you to do something at a certain point, like this classroom. You may miss study today. You may miss study tomorrow. You may miss study entire week with your important business at home or in the company, right? It may happen. Then what happened? After a few, few weeks, what happened? You lose many things there. You lost. And uh, uh, your team members may complain you, why you don't send us the, your work on time? Something like that, right? So th there will be trouble. So you need to control yourself well, OK? And the accessibility, so the, 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 there are some people who are hardly drive or who, who can sit uh, on the for three hours of a class meeting or they have some kind of uh, disability uh, to, to uh, attend the, this on-campus meeting. Uh, for those people, it is, it is great uh, class. The online, online uh, class is great for them to take, okay? Okay, and uh, these are the disadvantage of uh, uh, online learning and the lack of close uh, oral communication. Uh, you cannot have a chance to have a close communication, okay? Face-to-face -face communication. Uh, it is not good sometimes. So usually uh, we can get uh, good student evaluation uh, in the better student evaluation in the on-campus meeting than the online meeting. 
uh, because in the on-campus meeting, the, it's easy to talk to each other with the students, right? So we can resolve the main issues immediately at that time. But whenever you go through the online meeting, uh, sometimes it takes some time. So the, you, you are not satisfied with that kind of situation. Okay, so in the, in the same way, uh, as a student, uh, whenever you have a, a need a, a quick uh, the help, but uh, you cannot immediately talk, right? It goes through the uh, asynchronous communication. It takes some, sometimes it take, take time. Uh, it's not good. So you, you have to think of this, and you need to make everything, you need to plan everything in advance. So you need to resolve all the issues smoothly and uh, have some patience <laughs> okay, to wait for the reply. And eventually, we will resolve all the issues. Don't worry. Don't worry too much. Okay? So as long as you diligently work uh, as scheduled, you will be fine. You will be OK. okay? So the, the, do not worry too much. Okay? And have time and have uh, the, your study uh, on time as a scheduled. Okay? And uh, uh, you need to perform some independent study. Uh, uh, sometimes it is really difficult to do. Well, you have to decide everything by yourself. Okay? You have to decide your time for studying. So you may study for 10 minutes. OK, I like to study today. And then you spend 10 minutes. Uh, OK, um, this is weekend. Uh, I'm tired. I like to sleep. And then you sleep the entire day, and you don't study <laughs> at all. If you do this every, every weekend, what happens? Uh, your study will be delayed, delayed, and the uh, due date for homework and exam comes, right? It's hard to maintain your, 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 your study in this class. So you need to uh, study by yourself well. You need to control yourself well. Okay. Uh, when, when I take online uh, classes, uh, Samuel, uh, we have to study also, right? So faculty should study also. So we, we, we are training by ourselves uh, also. So whenever I take uh, online uh, class, uh, it's easy to forget. <laughs> and uh, my wife asks something to do, and then I have to do that right now. And later, I feel tired, and uh, I just forget about the study. It, it happens, right? So you have a, you have a family, you have a children at your home during the weekend, or you, you plan to study, but there are many obstacles there, right? It's very natural, isn't it? So you have to control well this. So you may need to, take, to tell your spouse, okay, for this time, I need to study. Even though I'm at home, this is a study time, okay? So you have to make these kind of things in advance. <coughs> Okay, so then uh, with disadvantages, disadvantages, uh, how can you survive here? So these are tips for uh, online learning. Read, read, read again. Okay, so we post all the online materials. Okay? This is online class. We post everything online. So what you have to do is you have to read, 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 and you have to review the, all the video or audio uh, lectures over there. Okay. And uh, uh, once I called the uh, uh, call back to the uh, the students uh, voicemail, and then uh, his wife uh, get the got the phone, and then uh, I asked uh, the the student name, and the, she told me, uh, "Are you Professor Joe? Yes. How did you know?" So she, she told me, "Since my." My husband is playing your, your video every day, so, <laughs> so I'm familiar with your voice. <laughs> okay. It's very natural. So some students are playing this uh, lecture uh, at home like this, and also uh, they are playing this uh, video lecture while they are driving, while they are uh, going to the uh, flight, the, the business flight, they are, they are uh, listening to this lecture. Okay, so it's natural, it's good. And the planning of events and the follow schedule. Okay? And the set aside time. You have to set aside time. Okay, so Monday night, Wednesday night, I will study for three hours. You, you have to understand this course, course contents is uh, uh, the three credit, uh, three 
units, right? So we are giving that much of work here. So you have to study just like you are taking a on-campus class. So when you get the three credit units in the on-campus, what happened? You have to attend three hours, right? Okay. So you, you have to think uh, in the same way. So you have to spend that much of time at least. And also you have to additionally spend time for doing homework, okay? And uh, doing a uh, project, okay? And uh, studying uh, for the prepare, to prepare for the exams as well, right? So uh, have some kind of fixed time. You need to fix certain time in advance and uh, try to keep that time. So if you miss uh, today's uh, study, and then you, ha you need to make up tomorrow, okay, at least. Uh, so in this way, you, you can uh, study well. So and the study regularly. Regular study is very important. Don't, don't, don't put aside okay, for four months and uh, try to study everything, okay, one day uh, in main work. It's hard to understand sometimes, and uh, there is some kind of a learning curve. Okay? It's very hard to understand in the beginning. Once you read this again and again and again, iteratively several times, then later you can understand everything very quickly. So it takes, sometimes it takes some time to go through. So it's, it is very important uh, to regularly study. Every day you spend one hour at least, something like this. Okay? It will really help you to understand all the materials more easily. Okay? And again, uh, ask help, ask questions before uh, late, before too late. Okay? So when we have a, a problem, okay, send the email to the faculties. Uh, if it is related to the course, course uh, contents. Uh, if it is related to the university business, send email to the staff, okay, and then uh, she can help you immediately. Okay, so please uh, see, read a uh, separate handout for distance learning requirements, which is in your packet right now. And then please uh, sign and uh, hand it right now. Thank you.